I'll try to finish this. Yeah, I'm... I'm gonna try to finish this. Gonna try to finish it. Yeah. Okay, it continues here. Can God create a square circle? Mm -hmm. Since electrons could be in two different places at the same time, why not? An electron cannot be in two diff in two places at the same time. And then he gives me uh, something called the uh, physics stack exchange dot question something four five zero four one. Can an electron be in two places at the same time? And from what I saw, I go, interesting. I heard different. Of course, he, if if he doesn't believe in that the electron can be in two places at the same time, what he talked about this uh, quantum foam a little while back. I'll bring that to him later on if he continues here. What I've said is that we have two concepts of time. One infinite and one not. That makes more sense. But the one that is infinite is not created by an eternal God and has always been like an eternal God, true? Neither of these makes uh, neither of these makes sense. Thus better to believe the Big Bang is it just happened and boom, time, right? You know? Just just bang, time, right? Uh in our way of thinking, time can neither be infinite nor finite. Actually, to my way of thinking, time cannot be finite if there is no eternal God. Do I believe time came from nothing? No. Well, that is a start. If time started at any point, there was never nothing for it, uh, for it to come from. Exactly. Your concept of God doing without time is always void, as it utterly ignores causality. What if an eternal God is responsible for causality? Sounds like you are about to go back to time coming from nothing again. But what you're asking is for a cause to the universe. No. Um... I'm asking for something beyond that. I'm asking for where did the where did time come from to create the Big Bang if there is no eternal God? I bet you will soon believe in eternal time to deny the existence of an eternal God, true? So you're asking about causes and then ignoring in your answer ignoring in your answer the, the way causes happen. I thought that was your job. So you can believe time just happened without an eternal God. Um, that would be like trying to build an electric circuit, but ignoring the way electricity behaves. Really? You're not likely to get anywhere. Oh, I think I know where you're going now. But given time and chance, you will. True. That is abiogenesis. But if that's where you are going, isn't that diversion and changing the subject? If causality really doesn't matter, then you could opt for a third possibility, which is that time is cyclical. But um, that's just another concept of time before the Big Bang, is it not? And don't ask about where the cycle came from, true? Uh, that is, some event in the future creates time in the past, and we go round and round forever. Like the walk-in alien in the movie K-Pax, uh, believed. True? This also makes no sense to the way we perceive causality. Right. For where did the cycle come from if there is no eternal God? As a result, the entire question, uh, the way you're thinking about it, is invalid. Only if believing in the eternal God, 
over eternal time is invalid to you. That's all. This has nothing to do with faith. And everything to do with the limits of human capacity of thought at this moment in time, uh, possibly forever. Well, the Bible does seem to say that the thoughts of God are above us as the stars, which seems to go on forever. If you want to investigate how time started, go to, go to it. You seem to be an intelligent guy, and if you can't explain it to me, I don't think anyone else will. Besides, Stephen Hawking, who was supposed to be a genius, seemed to believe that before the Big Bang, there was no time. Then bang, for no reason at all, time. But you science to do it because science makes rigorous demands of its practitioners in an attempt to avoid believing something because we want it to be true or because we're foolish ourselves into believing it to be true. Well, I really can't see myself believing the atheist way unless I want to believe like Stephen Hawking about the Big Bang, which truthfully makes no sense if there is no eternal God outside the realm of time and space. I'd be lying if I said Stephen Hawking made sense. It isn't perfect, but it's better than any other system of, dis of discovering truth that we've ever devised. You mean it's the most satisfying explanation to keep an, an eternal God out of the equation, true? Again, not to me. And you know, I think that will be it for tonight. We'll see how, would he, how he responds tomorrow. And if he does, there'll be more to this video series uh, that I call uh, Talking Time with an Atheist. I think that's how it goes. Or is it Talking to an Atheist about time? I don't know. It's one of those titles. Bye. Okay.